Hey folks, Quill18 here and welcome to, well this is not even a let's try, this is just a let's talk about Lacuna Passage. Lacuna Passage is a game that is currently on Kickstarter. Now I don't tend to do videos for games on Kickstarters because, well, and I've supported more than one title there, but um, for every one title that's decent there's like a hundred or a thousand games on Kickstarter that are just crap, that will probably never get finished, um, you're lucky to see concept art for the game, let alone screenshots, let alone a prototype. People dream big and announce big, and I mean, I, I don't think they're out there to steal your stuff. They just, they're just dreamers more than executors. However, Lacuna Passage is quite different in that these guys have been extremely active in the uh, indie development community on Reddit. They have been posting screenshots of their work for ages now, and I've been really excited. I love their concept, I love how active they've been, and at this point I'm, I'm quite convinced that they have a uh, huge potential to actually get something done. I have no idea if that dust storm is, is really horrible or not. Um, so anyway, that's why I'm here to talk about it. I'm actually not going to play it at all, but what Lacuna Passage is, um, it is a kind of a story, survival, kind of adventure kind of thing. Um, very, very atmospheric, which is kind of ironic because you're on Mars and there's not much of an atmosphere. Uh, you can see at the bottom of the screen you have uh, battery power, you have oxygen to keep track of. If I bring up my PDA here, you can see uh, I, there are a certain amount of calories needed per day, you have dehydration markers. And also, the actual environment is actually based on uh, surface scans of Mars by NASA. So you represent the last survivor of the mission, or the only survivor of the mission to go to Mars to find out what happened to the last mission that went to Mars. And Listen, at a certain point, guys, you have to stop sending people to Mars. I have a flashlight. I can zoom in with my middle mouse button and my right mouse button. I'm sure like there's actual commands that I'm just not getting. This is again, this is just the the prototype, the very early prototype and doesn't is nowhere even close to the version that they're working on and that they've shown videos for. But, you know, just just a little bit of eye candy to sort of pay attention to things. And uh, yeah, so you're here, you're alone. You're running out of oxygen, you're running out of battery power, and there's a huge area, I think it's like kilometers and kilometers and kilometers of space to cover, to try to find, you know, remnants of the previous expedition, and say I'm going to run, it's going to use up more oxygen. I can also hear myself breathing. This particular demo doesn't have much in the way of sound, and I know they want to keep it a little bit low because, you know, space and all that, but I think they're probably going to add a little bit more sound. Um, anyway, I think it's a cool, cool concept. There's going to be a link down to the Kickstarter down below. Do not feel the need to, to spend money just because I said so or anything like that. It's just, I really like these fellows, and so I approached them on Reddit and been like, listen, guys, I would love to give you a little bit of press and attention because I think this is a really cool game. And I think it represents the sort of games that maybe would not be done without something like Kickstarter. So um, that's it. I'm going to go wander off into the uh, Mars wilderness, apparently the Mars night, and probably just die. See you next time, folks. Bye-bye.